Okay, so for my career presentation, I chose management consultant. And here's a little bit about. So when I was growing up, I used to go with my family every summer to Bethany Beach. It's a small uh, resort town in Delaware. And uh, we used to uh, go there for a couple weeks every summer and go to the actual beach, do a little bit of uh, boogie boarding, some sun tanning, go to the pool, just a lot of, uh, you know, typical vacation stuff. And one of the favorite restaurants that uh, my family would go to was called the Cottage Cafe. And that was um, nearby in South Bethany. And uh, so when we were going there one time, I remember I was having a meal. And uh, before I ordered the meal, I looked over the menu. And I noticed that they didn't have any mashed potatoes or any baked potatoes on the menu. However, they had plenty of french fry options. They had french fries, they had seafood french fries, they had like extreme seafood french fries or something. I don't remember the exact name. And I, so I called the manager over and I said, you know, listen, I thought that these are all, um, these all sound very tasty, but um, I think you're really missing out by not providing any healthier options because a lot of people like potatoes but don't want to have french fries. So I recommended that they include uh, mashed potatoes or baked potatoes on their menu. So I think since that moment, I've always uh, been interested in uh, going into consulting. So as far as the Bureau of Labor Statistics info, there is a median annual salary of around 79,000, and there was about 720,000 jobs a few years ago. And it's supposed to be around 20% growth over the next decade. And according to a recent survey of uh, many business leaders, they said that about Half of them were looking to expand the consulting um, role within their companies, and about 80% were looking to keep them. So what it takes to succeed. Yeah, I think the most important things about being a good consultant are to be good at asking questions, to organize and present the facts well, and to don't let personal biases cloud your judgment. I know that a lot of times companies are looking for younger people as opposed to older people because the older professionals are biased and they're just going to be looking for confirmation bias in their decisions. So I'm interested for the travel, the variety of work, and capable of working with senior management early on. And I think it's very important because you serve as a mediator between parties. Oftentimes companies have good ideas, but because of office politics, they, um, they're unable to get to acting and, and uh, working on those ideas. After consulting, you can do a lot of, a lot of different uh, jobs because of the diverse backgrounds going into consulting. And uh, for instance, McKinsey hires a lot of medical doctors, so that would be an option afterwards. And for globalization, um, regulatory demands can certainly fuel globalization. Um, I know some banks have opened up, um, like Barclays is a British bank, and they opened up an online savings account in the US because they have uh, regulatory uh, demands after the financial crisis. And sustainability, some firms are better than others. Uh, the smaller firms are uh, better at specializing in that, but Deloitte and PricewaterhouseCoopers are generally recognized as leaders. And an example of sustainability is KPMG saved UPS 1.6 million gallons of fuel uh, over the last couple of years by working on their efficiency strategies. So in conclusion, it's a, a well compensated industry, it's poised for fast growth, it's uh, challenging, stimulating, and unrepetitive, and uh, I hope to go into it so that one day I'll be making decisions beyond uh, simply what to include on the menu and hopefully where to open up the next restaurant.